Welcome back to Craft Camp. I'm Emily, and today we are going to be making some very fun Halloween projects. Just check out these super cute little wool felt ball spiders that I made in about five minutes. All right, let's get started. To make this spider, I'll be using two different sizes of the cotton felt wool ball. I'm using the four centimeter and the two centimeter, as well as our chenille pipe cleaners. These are gonna be for the legs. For the eyes, I'll be using this multi-pack of craft eyes, and I will need this all to get them in the felt ball. To make a little spider web for him to hang by, I grabbed the white colored embroidery thread and I'm just gonna use one little strand. For tools, I'll be using the needle nose, pliers, and wire cutter, as well as some hot glue. All right, let's get started. I pulled out one of each size of cotton ball and we'll get started with the smallest size ball. I've got my crafting eyes and I'm going to find a couple different sizes. I'll be using one of the larger size as well as one of the medium sized. And we'll need to find two of each of those in this little pack. Okay, I've got my eyes all set out and ready to go. For placement, I wanna have these two a good amount apart, the first two a good amount apart, and I'll use the awl to punch a hole before I put the eye in there. So we'll choose our location, make a little hole, and then just stick that right in there. And you might need to use a little bit of force, but it should be pretty easy once you put that first hole in there. There we go, the first eye. And for the second eye, let's see it. We want it to be a good amount apart. Let's say about an inch. And then we'll put this guy in here. When the eyes are a little bit further apart, he looks nice and cute. When I was originally designing this little guy, I was looking at pictures of spiders and I love all their different eyes. I felt like four was just the perfect amount to keep them looking nice and spidery, but also a little cute too. So the second eye, I'm just gonna place right above the first eye. And this is the smaller size, so you can see just right above. We'll do the other one, try to get them about in the same spot. What a cute little spider. He's already looking very spider-like to me. Now that his face is mostly done, I'm going to attach him to the rest of the body. I want it to be a little bit lower down, so he kind of sits flat. You can see the difference here, and we'll attach him right about there. So I'll just be using that hot glue, get a nice glob, make sure his face is facing the right direction, and then we'll just go right on. And the hot glue works really well on the, these wall balls. They don't want to come apart at all once they're set. Next up, we're going to be grabbing our chenille pipe cleaners, and we're going to be using these for the legs and for his little mandibles. So we'll pull out five of these, four for the legs and one for the mandibles. Before we attach the legs, let's go ahead and make his little mandibles. This is pretty easy, so I'm going to make a little M shape starting at the end of one of these wires. You can use your needle nose pliers if you'd like. Just make a little M, make sure they're even on both sides, just like that. And then I will trim this end here, Ooh, a little shorter than that and I'll just squish that M right up together and then open it up kind of like a little heart. And to get this to sit nicely on his face, I just wanna give it a little bit of a bend. So I'm just gonna bend it so it's slightly rounded and then we'll attach that right there in between those eyes. Kind of looks like a little mustache. Hot glue will do the trick. What do you think, looking spooky yet? Now we'll go ahead and attach the legs. This is the easiest part. And I'm gonna turn him over so he's belly up and we'll just be placing the legs one after another right in here. So we don't need to worry about shaping these yet. We'll just have them straight and we'll be gluing them right in the middle of each of these strips. So I'll start right at the neck and put the first one there. And then the next one, we'll just go right next to it. We're just creating a little row of these four in a row. Make sure they're on straight before the hot glue dries. And then I'm just gonna let that hot glue set for a second. Now that the hot glue is nice and set, we can go ahead and start shaping these legs. So these first ones here, those are gonna come forward. I'm gonna use my needle nose pliers to get those turns nice and sharp. So we'll have it turn right by its face and then go out a little bit, like a little foot. And then we'll trim this one right after that. And this will kind of sit right in front of its face, just like that. We'll do the same on the other side. You don't need the pliers, you can do this with your fingers as well, but it's kind of nice for getting those 
sharper turns. There we go. So first leg's done. We'll do the next set. These ones are also going to kind of go up first. And we'll bring them back down. Give them some cute little feet. We'll just leave that one that full length for now. We'll, we can decide if we want to trim it after. And we'll do the same thing for the next two, but this time we're going to angle them back instead of forward. And here's where you can make any adjustments that you'd like with these little legs. I see a couple things I want to do, but other than that, I think he's looking pretty spooky. I think I'm in love with these little spider guys. I think they're adorable. You can see the two different eye placements and how that kind of changes how they look. So you can make them based on how you like the way that they look. All right, and for our final touch, you can leave them just like this, or if you wanted to hang them up, I thought that it would be pretty cute to make little spider web strands with some embroidery floss. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this floss, and this is just the white color embroidery thread, and I'll just get one strand of this for our little spider friends. This could be as long as you want, and they could hang down, or you could even make a whole spider web if you were feeling ambitious. So I think I'll just glue this right on the booty. <laughs> so he's hanging down like that. The nice thing about the hot glue is it's clear, so you shouldn't be able to see it too much, especially on this white color. I hope you had as much fun making these as I did. We'll see you next time.